morning that followed his fateful meeting with the man Pelteria had a sobering effect on Petrovich. To his exceedingly great annoyance, he had little by little been compelled to accept an unalterable faith. The very thing which only the previous day had seemed an event belonging almost to the realms of fantasy, and which, although it had taken place, still seemed impossible to him. All night a black serpent of wounded self-esteem had eaten at his heart. The first thing Petrovich did upon getting out of bed was to take a look in the mirror. He was afraid he might have had an attack of jaundice overnight. From this point of view, all was however. This owner, a German craftsman who had made a lot of money, would not on any account agree to violate the terms of the contract that had just been signed and demanded full prescribed therein. In spite of the fact that Petrovich was returning the apartment to him in a state of virtual redecoration, things were exactly the same in the furniture store where the staff refused to give the same refused to give him back one single ruble of deposit he had paid on the furniture white and of late somewhat features petrovich actually felt some somewhat consoled for a moment in the fullest conviction that he would be able to find himself a wife somewhere else perhaps a better one too but at once to his senses and spat to one side with energy, bringing a silent but sarcastic smile to the face of his young friend and room companion, marks against him recently. His rage grew double intense when he suddenly realized.